Hi, so we're here at the Sharp stand at CES 2013 and a bit of a rare treat because we have Kerry from the Sharp. Hello. And not only is Kerry very attractive, but Kerry's also ISF certified. How you doing? <laughs> now Kerry, we're going to do what we call our two minute challenge with you. So we're going to give you two minutes or less. All right. To do, uh, run through your, your current, the big, the big things you're showing at CES this year, basically. All right. I'll so give you, my are best you shot. ready? I'm ready. Steady, go. All right, so behind me, we've got our massive 90-inch screen, which is, of course, what Sharp does best. We do bigger, better than anyone else. But brace yourself, because we've got a new lineup, six series, two models, 2D, 3D, seven series, two models with Quattron, 2D, 3D, and, of course, our wonderful flagship eight series product, which has super bright and 960 motion processing. That's our lineup for 2013. Nailed in 25 hey. seconds. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I have to do a high five on that one. Woo! <laughs> okay, now we're going to a little bit more detail. <laughs> So that's the big news at CES, but let's talk about the TV lineup and specifically the 1080p TVs to start with. Okay. So what have we got here? I know that um, Sharp have been kind of making a niche for themselves in the big screen market, so... Uh... We're trying. <laughs> that's what we do best, is making big screens. So this year we have added some models to our lineup. Last year we were a little slim with 6 series, 7 series and 8 series, but we only had 3. So this year we're adding a few more to the series. We'll have a 2D and a 3D model in our 6 series and that'll be a cost-effective or entry-level model. Then we're gonna move into our seven series product where we'll have a 2D and a 3D Quattron. And then of course our eight series product, we're gonna add some extra motion processing there, moving up to 960 motion processing. Also our super bright technology, because for all of those out there who are ISF certified, we know that luminance is the most important thing to the human eye. And when it's brighter, we think it looks better. So that's what Super Bright is going to handle with our 8 series product. And of course, we will continue with our 90 inch, our massive 90 inch screen, which looks good in any room. I don't care how small. And of course, our elite product as well. Now, a quick question. Uh, are you using uh, full backlight arrays or edge lighting on your TV? Well, that'll depend on the size. Our 90 inch product is going to use, utilize a, a full array backlit. But in our 80 inch, 70 inch and 60 inch, especially the 80 inch this year, we've added that to our edge lighting array. So that's 1080p. Now let's talk about 4K. So Kerry, what have you got in store with us from 4K? So 4K, we have a couple of options this year. Last year we did premiere our ICC product. Yeah. This year we did a little tweaking to it and we've added a little branding to that as well. So we're gonna show you the 4K that is THX certified and that's just a regular 4K so it's phenomenal in itself. And then our second 4K offering is gonna be the new ICC where we've added ICC Purios right. for the branding of that product. Okay. The special sauce in ICC, and that's gonna be a real high-end 4K, is that ICC stands for Integrated Cognitive Creation, which for all the techies out there, it reintroduces the light stimuli that we perceive when we see things in real life. So reintroducing things, instead of just up-converting, it's gonna completely remaster content and create 4K-like quality because the thing that we're suffering from in 4K is... The lack of content. Exactly. Lack of content is a huge issue. And even if we can find a way to deliver it or download it, it's gonna take time and some people won't have that bandwidth. Right. So for companies and families, anybody who's getting that 4K integrated, they're gonna be using a lot of 720p or 1080i content. So what we're even showing in our display room is 1080i that comes out looking like 4K yeah. because of this special sauce, which is the ICC Purios. I have actually seen it and, and it gives it a sense of depth that's almost 3D like. It really respects. does. It's like it reinvents the picture quality and puts the depth and the detail and the texture all right back into the picture where it should be so it looks like real 4k content yeah. and then of course we'll have our mainstream 4k product which is right now the world's only certified THX 4k product yeah and that will be our 4k product mainstream and that's pretty big news I mean I mean yes. how difficult was it to get THX certification for your product mm, I don't know if I told you I'd probably have to kill you if I <laughs> gave you all the inside info but I'm sure it was definitely some hoops that they had to jump through because THX is a real big deal 
So we were very, very happy to have that exclusive to us for the time being. Okay, now, and uh, the THX certified TV, that's not an elite TV though, is it? That's a separate, nope. separate lineup still. That is a separate lineup. So obviously 4K is going to be higher cost and our Elite is still going to be mainstream retail accessible yeah. for people and the 4K will be, I imagine, retail in some aspects, but it's going to be a much more costly piece. ICC Purios is going to be even above that. And you mentioned earlier about the lack of content. I mean, is Sharp working with any kind of uh, way of delivering 4K content to the consumer? I don't know about that. We do have our 8K, which we'll definitely have to show you, yeah. and we do have a native 8K feed from NHK showing on that 8K piece, but I think right now we're focused on bigger and <laughs> and bracing ourselves for the next year with 4K, Ultra HD, and all the other great okay. things that we can do. So, Kerry, 8K, what's the deal with 8K? Steve, I just can't tell you how exciting this 8K is. It's probably been one of our biggest draws for the booth this year, because 8K is truly, it's future technology. But when you get up on this 8K piece, you can get about two inches from the screen and you can't even see the pixels. It's pretty amazing stuff. I know everybody's talking about 4K Ultra HD and that's going to be a reality for 2013, yeah. I can imagine, with a number of different folks, including Sharp having two different models. 8K is 16 times 1080p resolution. 4K is four times, pretty amazing, mm -hmm. but 16 times. And if we talk in megapixels or pixels, dots, the 8K is 32 megapixel, whereas current 1080p is only two megapixel. Yeah. So that's a pretty big difference in your image quality. And on our 8K, we're also displaying a native 8K resolution feed, so you can really see the amazing detail. And other than seeing it for your own, uh, with your own eyes or for yourself, it's just hard to really find words to describe how amazing it no, is. I've got to ask the question because it's, it's difficult enough to find 4K content. Yes. Where's anyone going to find 8K content from? <laughs> that's another good question. Not sure where that's going to come from, but NHK has definitely been a pioneer in that. And they partnered with Sharp this year to give us that 8K content for our 8K display, which last year we displayed at CES. Yeah, and it that, is the yeah. world's first 8K display. I mean, I've read that NHK are talking about using jumping over 4K and going straight to 8K as their standard for TV in the future in Japan. I mean, That's entirely possible. I'm not real sure about that because I don't live in Japan, <laughs> but I can't tell you how cool that would be to be watching 4K and 8K content instead of, gosh, just 1080p? Yeah, we thought it was so great. Also ran 1080p. <laughs> Who cares about that anymore? Exactly. <laughs> Kerry, thank you so much. You've been You're so welcome, helpful. You're welcome, Steve. Thank you.